Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Remnant 2. You will need to. <laughs> uh, we're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottleneck. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's gonna show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's going to make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divide it by 2. So for me, it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically. And you just lower the software like that and you're going to make sure it's optimized so it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering so i really recommend to use that one last thing is um i have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking cpu overclocking gpu depending on your brand and stuff and it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide i don't touch voltage so it's pretty safe you can expect sometimes two percent ten percent boost in your fps depending on your thermal depending on your component but it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your pc um, for the best performance so now let's go inside of the game so now inside of the game so first of all for display mode really important to play full screen don't go to borderless or window you're gonna get some crazy stuttering so play full screen make sure that your resolution also is native with your monitor so if you have a 1080p monitor go with 1080p if you have 1440p just go 1440p i'm not a big fan of motion blur in any game so i just remove it better visibility when you're gonna play the game uh, right now i'm using the dlss gener generation but if you don't have this technology on your gpu make sure that your vsync is unchecked and i I'm, i like to unlock my fps to have the lowest input lag possible uh but still uh, you can use technology like uh, free sync or g-sync uh, and also if you don't like the tiering when you're playing the game you can also activate your v-sync you will add a little bit more input lag when you're gonna play the game after that you have upscaler and this is the key in this game you really need to use an upscaler don't go at none you will see that even if you have a pretty decent card you're gonna stutter you're gonna lag so don't do that uh, I really recommend if you have an NVIDIA card, go with DLSS and use the quality one, this one. Uh, when you go lower than that, the game the game feels very blurry, so I'm not a huge fan of it. So this is pretty much the best setting. And if you have an RTX 4000 series car, I really recommend to use the frame generation. It's going to do some magic to your FPS, so super important. If you don't have an NVIDIA card, I recommend to go with the FSR at quality. Pretty much the same thing. Uh, the quality is, is lower than the DLSS one in Remnant 2, but still, it's going to help a lot to stabilize your FPS. And you're going to have a lot more FPS. So I'm going to put this back at quality. So now, shadow quality. This one is pretty much the one that will provide you the most of your FPS. If I compare ultra to low, you can expect 20 to 25% boost in your FPS. Normally, I should say use medium to have a decent image quality, but right now the performance are pretty bad. So just go with low. You're going to gain a lot of FPS. So pretty much go with low with this one. Post-processing, it's 2 to 3% for each bracket and 1% different between low and medium. So I really recommend to go with medium. Full image quality, also I recommend to go with medium. Uh, at low, the image quality is pretty bad, but if you're struggling with your FPS, it's gonna help to go with low. You're gonna gain another 3% if you compare with medium. So it really depends where you are right now with your FPS, your performance, uh, with your computer. Effect quality, I really recommend to go with low. A lot of effect in this game, and you don't want to drop like crazy in your FPS when you're fighting, when you're fighting a boss or something like that. So for now, I really recommend to go with low with effect. And view distance quality, I recommend a minimum of medium you want to see further in front of you. Uh, if you can run high, but you will see you're getting a lot of drop in your FPS. It's pretty much 5% for each bracket. So my recommendation is start at medium, look at your FPS, and if your FPS are decent, go with high. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Remnant 2 guide. Uh, not a lot of option, not a lot of customization right now inside of the game. 
the key here is really like use your upscaler. If you don't use it, you will uh, stutter like crazy. So it's super important to use that. If you have any questions, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.